What is up YouTube world? You're here with Chris and today we're just going to talk about a quick desktop setup. Really what I do to for my productivity. We're going to go over just basically the things on my desk. Um, you got to excuse me for my cable management. It's terrible. But um, we're just going to talk about quickly what I use and I, that at work, both at work and um, for productivity and uh, just for making content. So for without further ado, um, we're going to start up here because this is important. Um, this is the plaque that I received when I was getting out of the military. Um, my unit, my squad, my uh, troop gave me this. Really happy about that. They know I used to like to make music, so they gave me my first platinum, my first platinum uh, record right there. And that's the, that's the helicopter I used to work on. It's called the Kiowa. Pretty interesting. Um, here, you usually see this in my videos. My son, my oldest son gave this to me for Father's Day like four years ago and I just kept it ever since. He sits right here. I don't have a name for him, he just sits right there on my speaker. Uh, speaking of speakers, I have the Rocket 5s, uh, the KRK Rocket 5s. I use these for like music production and then also for like when I'm making videos and things like that. Really great speakers, little guys. And we'll keep going. So below that, you can see this little white thing on here. Uh, this is a mesh internet a mesh Wi-Fi system and what that does is if you have like Wi-Fi dead spots in your house this will help you get Wi-Fi all over your place really cool I have two of these and they work extremely well zooming out I use a Logitech this is MS MX Master 3s and super comfortable I lost my old Logitech I took it to work and left it there honestly so I use this one, it's super quiet. I really like that. And the buttons are really soft and it has this like little holder for your thumb and you can customize it. You know, it has a whole bunch of customizable buttons. I think it was like a hundred bucks. On that is gonna be the Logitech pad that I use to try to keep my desk from getting scratched up. And you can see it's, it's taking a beating from my mouse, but um, I use that. Let's see what else. We have the, let's see if I can get in on that. Das keyboard. This is a mechanical keyboard with MX Brown or MX Blue. I forget which keys. Really tactile key set and uh, really cool. And it doesn't have RBG, so it doesn't have any light of lighting on it. Next, we have the Think Vision. And this was actually given to me. This is not mine. I'm, I'm leasing it, <laughs> let's say per se. And this is a 32, or I think it's actually bigger than a 32 maybe a 32 um, and I use this for work predominantly and this is a 28 I believe that I use then I have the Logitech I have a Logitech this is a 1080p uh, webcam that I like to use for meetings what else let's go um, here oh yeah the cow digit this is one of the best things I've ever purchased if you've if you ever wondered why like, oh man, I'm running out of ports. You have so many connections. Like, um, I don't know about you, but my work computer only has two USB C's. So this cow digit has like 18 different connections on it. It's really cool. Um, pretty expensive, like it's over 300 bucks, but really cool device. It has basically, this is the hub of my whole desk setup. Here, this is my other baby. Let me see if I can get at that. Yeah, this is the Apollo twin. It's an interface, microphone interface, and it's amazing, strictly amazing. You can use this with a mic, and I just, I recommend everybody buy one of these, but they're really expensive, so you don't really need one, but I've had a regular interface for like a, I think I had a Focusrite, which is a really good interface as well for entry level, but when you step up, you wanna get one of these, it's really great. Um, let's see what else here. So here is my, 16 inch MacBook Pro and it is the old, it's an Intel Mac. So it's an i9 in there, a terabyte uh, HD uh, SSD. And I just had this since 2019 and it's kind of getting old, man. It's kind of stuttering. I notice when I'm like making videos, it stutters and stuff like that, but it's still the workhorse of the household until I buy another one. All right, here next to this one we have a newer Mac. This is a 2000, I forgot what year this is, but it's newer, but 
Um, this is just for work. I don't use this for anything else but work. It's my work computer. And let's see what else here we have. Oh, back here. Let me see if I can get that. This is a professional hard drive, studio hard drive. And I use this for basically all of my content. It lives on there and it's really heavy duty. I've had hard drives die on me in the past. So this one's supposed to be more uh, robust. Here I have my Epson scanner. And this thing is pretty cool because I scan everything. I don't like to keep receipts around. So I scan everything. It can scan 20 pages at one time, which is really dope. And let's see, move on. I have my candle. It's my good vibes candle when I'm at work. I light that, it smells great. Sandalwood, stuff like that. This is my notebook when I take notes. And uh, I usually take digital notes, but sometimes it's better when you're in a meeting just to write things down or things I wanna get done today or just ideas that I have, I write, take that. And let's see what else. Oh, my new pickup today. Left that here just for y'all. So this is a book that I just picked up today. It's called The Daily Dad, and it's really cool. Um, if I've recently recommended a book called um, The Daily Stoic. So this is written by the same author, Ryan Holiday, and it's written in a manner to where it gives you uh, small quotations, small little citations throughout uh, once a day, every day. So while I probably won't be giving a book review on this whole thing because I'm going to read it like maybe once a day, I will let you in on some of the passages that I'm reading and how I'm applying them to my life and how I parent. So this is really cool. The Daily Dad. And then we're getting to the end of the tour. So let's see if you can see this. This is a Newman microphone. And if you're up on Newman microphones, Really cool. This is the baby Newman. This is the TLM 102. And I use this, I used to use this for music production, really great microphone to use with the uh, Universal Audio Apollo Twin. And just look into it. It's a lot more affordable than the big, t the big Newman. The big Newman is pretty crazy expensive, uh, but this one's not bad either. So lastly, my KRK. Um, the other five, I have my headphone set up right here where you have different headphones. And I think that's it. That's everything I use on a day-to-day -day basis for work and everything else. So if you stayed, stayed, by, stayed by this long, I really appreciate it. Like I said, I'm just gonna be throwing videos up here as I'm using the camera. Oh yeah, you see these clear eyes because I stare at the computer all day for work and my eyes are like, they get bloodshot. I think I need to get some blockers or some blue blockers or something. But um, yeah, if you stayed on this long, I really appreciate it. Uh, we're going to continue to have good, um, some good content coming out. But yeah, thank you. Peace.